Yeah, those angels of mercy used to sing and beg down in Pershing Square, L.A. Voices that haunted me and still do. Lost nightmare Jesus sounds coming out of the coins rattling in a cup from two blind ladies. I was born in the city of angels in the late 1940s, down on Hope Street, near Pershing Square and Clifton's Cafeteria in the pantry, and all them old strip joints on Fifth and Main. You know, tonight, White Fury and her twin 44s, Charles Bukowski territory, beat outsider America in the music that's been lost from that time, taken off the radios. You had to have been there. The backdrop is MacArthur Park and Hollywood Court Apartments and racetracks. The old America when music still resonated through nightclubs. People gambled and drank and screwed and smoked. People went down to the border and sipped highballs and cocktails and went to the bullfights. The old America where the big guilt and political correctness in the chain stores hadn't sunk in so deep. I thought, you know, the best person to read these memories would have been little Jack Horton. He was a circus midget who actually used to drink with Bukowski back in the 1950s. Then I find out little Jack Horton's still alive and living in Gidtown, Florida with all the old-time carnies and circus people. So why the hell do we need any fake Hollywood tough guys here? Here today, gone tomorrow, boys in masks, flim-flammers, magazine faces, we don't need them. Little Jack Horton was the king of the carnival, the voice of the great American Midway. A voice that sounds like ukulele icon laughing gas, the real thing. He's been shot out of cannons, he did the pass of death on a Shetland pony. He rode the four walls of eternity on a motorcycle, appeared in movies like The Terror of Tiny Town, One-Eyed Jacks with Marlon Brando. And he wrote poetry. This is a true American voice from the sawdust back lots of the old world. I saw little Jack a little while ago, gave him some cassette tapes and a cheap cassette recorder, and asked him to read some of these pages on Charles Bukowski memories. Real low fidelity Americana, the way it used to be. Ladies and gentlemen, it's matinee time. Here's little Jack Horton. 